Welcome back it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to get the purification ending and the return ending. Also, we'll be getting the immortal severance, but that is the normal one if we do not do the following steps. All right, so in the pinned comments, I'll have timestamps for each individual section, just in case you want to jump to any part of this video. And to the right of the timestamps will be a full in-depth guide. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, when we first talk to the Al, we're going to pick the second dialogue option, break the iron code, stay loyal. We basically now need to defeat the Al. Afterwards, we're going to talk to our young little lord right here and Emma until we exhaust all dialogue options. Right then, we'll be able to light an incense burner and receive a sweet rice ball. Afterwards, you're going to see me right there. Just go to the right side and eavesdrop on both of them. Yes. Do what must be done. Once we're done with that, we're going to rest, and you'll notice that Emma has now disappeared. So we're going upstairs, we're going to talk to her real quick, and we're going to have to agree with her. I must do. I will not let my lord die. Thank you. All right, so after we talk to her, we're going to go downstairs, rest at the idol again, Go back upstairs, talk to Emma again, and then she's going to give us a note. Master Wolf, I found something. Here. Purification? Alright, so now we need to go to the old grave idol. We're going to find Emma to the left in front of some graves. Just talk to her, but she's going to act a little funny. So now we need to go and fast travel to the temple idol. We're going to go behind the building over here to eavesdrop on both of them. Emma, does that sit well with you? I can't honestly say. To achieve their goal of immortal. All right, so we're going to talk to Emma, and we're going to select Ask What You Overheard. Then we're going to select Ask What She Is Hiding. Afterwards, she will give us the Father's Bell Charm to use at the Buddha statue. This will take us back to the estate. Now keep in mind, when you're there, there is two mini-bosses that I recommend defeating if you're looking to get the trophy slash achievement called Man Without Equal, simply because these two are missable. All right, so you're going to continue through the estate until you get to the owl and defeat him for this second time. You will then receive the flower of the ever blossom and that will complete all of the things that we need for the purification ending. All right, so keep in mind, you need to do this for the purification ending and then whatever we're going to follow next for the return ending before you complete the fountainhead palace and defeat the divine dragon, okay? So we basically just did all the steps right now for the purification ending. Now, the next thing up is the return ending. <laughs> all right, so now on to the return ending. There is a lot of steps to this, but we're gonna do most of the prep work in the very beginning. First thing we need to do is go to the temple ground idol. We're gonna dive underwater, straight down where I'm at right now, and then we're going to pick up a book. Check your inventory in case you already have it. I already did. All right, so now we need to get the fresh fruit. For this, we are going to need the puppeteer skill. There is a small enemy right by the kite mechanism. We're gonna use that on him in order to basically for him to extend a kite for a new grappling point. See now it's extended out. So now we just need to work our way all the way around to that point. The old lady's on the right over there. We just jumped through the window and it's up here on the right where this big tree is. All 
This is going to take us to a new area called the Sunken Valley Cavern. There's also an idol there that you can pick up. Alright, so in order to get the fresh fruit, we're going to have to defeat the Great Serpent. It is so easy to do once we get to this point. We're going to just drop down from this ledge. And there's a tree branch right here. It looks like a tree branch. Go out to the very edge. And then we're just going to do a death blow. And there you go. And now we'll have our fresh fruit. All right, so the next thing up is the old fruit. So we're gonna fast travel to the Valley Idol. This is the idol just before the Guardian Ape boss fight. Uh, we're just going to navigate through some caves. At the very end, we're gonna use the puppeteer skill on a monkey. This will distract the snake. Now for me, <laughs> I wasn't patient enough and the snake still hit me. Uh, if you just wait a little bit longer, then the monkey will distract the snake and then you'll be able to sneak in. Or you can just go for it. It doesn't do that much damage anyways. All right, so the next thing we need to do is pick up a persimmons. Go to the temple ground, and then you can loot one at the end of the path that I show you. All right, so now that we completed all the side activities, we need to go to the Inner Sanctum Idol and talk to the Divine Child. Right then and there, you want to give her the book from step one. Okay, so what's going to be happening is we're gonna be talking to the Divine Child, we're going to be resting, we need to fast travel to another location, rest, head back to the Inner Sanctum Idol, talk to her again. It's going to be a bunch of travel somewhere, rest, travel back, talk to divine child it's going to be a lot of that okay but first step first is we need to give her the book like i just did cannot help but detest them all right so i just fast travel somewhere rest came back now i'm going to talk to the divine child request for some rice and then afterwards i'm going to eat it right then and there right away all right so we need to do this three times in a row so again you basically need to fast travel somewhere else rest come back here request for some rice eat it you know again and again until we do this three times in a row what you'll notice is that the divine child will be bent forward and doesn't want to give you any more rice no matter what you do you can fast travel to another location rest come back the divine child will not give you any more rice that basically means we're on to our next step which i'll pick it back up there your path may lead Shinobi of the Divine Air, I awaited your return. Please take this rice. Thank you. Bless us with bountiful harvest. You have my gratitude. Of course. Rice is a precious thing. Remember to chew properly before swallowing. 
Thank you for visiting. All right, so you'll notice that the divine child is bent forward. This is when we're going to give the divine child the persimmons. This will basically bring the divine child back to normal. And afterwards, the divine child will give us some rice for our divine heir, which is, you know, our young lord. Truly, you brought me a persimmon. Eat. Yes, thank you. It's sweet. And delicious. Good. Shinobi, hold out your hand. But? No need to hesitate. Hold out your hand. All right. A bountiful harvest for you. I thank you, Shinobi of the Divine Air. The crop is plentiful. Thanks to the Perso give some to the Divine Air of the Dragon's Heritage. I will. All right, so now it's time to go back to our young lord, give him the rice, fast travel away and rest, then go back to him again, talk to him, and then we're going to receive sweet rice ball. All right, so after that, we're going to fast travel back to the inter sanctum idol. This? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, wolf. Come now, hold out your hand. My lord. All right, so we just need to talk to the divine child and it will ask if we gave the rice to the divine heir. Afterwards, just rest at the inner sanctum idol and then you will notice that the divine child has disappeared. This means we are on the right track. Yeah, Stig, and I had one. It was very good. <laughs> That's good to hear. Oh, I see. He may be the divine heir of the dragon's heritage, but... He's still human, after all. What am I saying? Of course he is. I am sure he had his doubts about severing immortality as well. Yet even so, it is the path he chose. There is something I would like to ask you, Shinobi of the Divine Heir. Yes? What is his name? Lord Kuro. Lord Kuro. It has a fine ring to it. I should like to meet him someday. Alright, so I'm going to rest right now. You can see in the background the Divine Child. And now the Divine Child is gone. All we need to do from here is just turn around, go to the Hall of Illusions, and then talk to the Divine Child there. Leave and then rest at the Inner Sanctum Idol. It's just going to be a long conversation about a book that we need to get from a priest. All right, so now we need to pick up the Dragon Return book. So just follow the path that I show you. Once you pick up the book, just return back to the Inner Sanctum Idol and rest. I'll pick it back up at the next part.
All right, so now we need to talk to the divine child and the divine child will ask us for the fresh and old fruit. Remember, we collected this in step number two, three, four, and five. Afterwards, just rest at the idol, talk to the divine child again, and then give the persimmons of the serpent, the old and fresh fruit, basically. Now rest again at the idol and then the doors will be shut. So this is your chance to eavesdrop by the door and then rest again at the idol, talk to the divine child and receive the frozen tears. This means when you receive the frozen tears that we have completed all the steps for the return ending. Divine air? All right, so next thing we need to do is just complete the Fountainhead Palace area. Once you get to the Sanctuary Idol, you need to defeat the Divine Dragon and receive the Divine Dragon tier. Afterwards, you're just going to defeat the final boss. And if you're on the PlayStation, once you defeat the final boss, you want to make a USB save there so that you can get the three endings in one playthrough. I was basically able to get all three endings within 20 minutes. All right, so this video took quite some time to put together. So do show your support on the video by giving it a like and also help support the channel by subscribing. And if you run into any troubles at all, just leave a comment down below. Either me or someone within the community will be able to help you out. And also leave a comment and let me know what was your favorite ending. For me, it was the return ending probably because I felt like you can continue on with a sequel or maybe a DLC. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video and thanks for watching.